Koa Pete will be taking an unofficial visit to Arizona tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, the timing works out well because he's doing the Team USA stuff. So basically, he'll go on the visit, do the Team USA stuff. We're assuming he'll make the team. So he won't be here at Section 7, most likely. And so Arizona gets him on campus, gets to visit with him, and then he leaves the country, basically. Yes, exactly. So that's a very, very, very good one. We like that. Yes, the MNBA is on tonight. As everybody knows, I am mocking the MNBA as uh, Arizona. I believe that uh, Will Perry is asking, is Arizona in Coa Pete's top five? I believe yeah. at the end, Arizona will definitely be in Coa Pete's top five. Yeah. Let's say you, Jason Shearer. Yeah, 100% in their top five. And it's, and you know, it's fluid. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think at the end of the day, Arizona will remain in his top five and, and probably top three. I was going to go a step further and say top three, Jason Shear. Look at we us. Were, we were nice. talking about this the, uh, the other day. This is something, and then we're going to get into some other recruits here in a minute. But I was also saying uh, something that uh, I thought was really fascinating. In the last seven years, I don't think there's ever been a run at a public school in Arizona like Gilbert Perry. You had Jalen Williams, who's obviously going to be a $100 million player in the NBA. You had Dylan Anderson, who you think stinks, but he's mm -hmm. still going to be very, very good. And we will not dismiss an NBA possibility for Dylan Anderson. Also, Cody Williams, no matter what you think, he's going to uh, he's going to be in the NBA here. Uh, and Koa Pete, another NBA player. You got three surefire NBA players and Dylan Anderson, who might be better than all of them. Uh, <laughs> I, I and I think the thing with Koa is we both know Koa could go any to any prep school and all that, and I'm sure he's gotten invites and offers, but he stays at Gilbert Perry. And uh, I've talked about it with them, and he just said, look, I, it doesn't appeal to me. The prep schools, I like where I live. I have friends at Perry. It's worked out for me. It's a good program. And, and so it's just not that attractive. And it, it is very cool when an in-state kid and, – and it's not a bad thing. Look, like the, the House twins left their high school. They're at Compass Prep. That's not a bad thing. It, it's just – it, it's pretty cool to see a, a kid like Koa stay with his high school. Now, do you think that uh, – let me ask you this. Do you think that he looked at the template that Dylan Anderson set about staying home, staying loyal to the soil, and he wanted loyal. to uh, loyal to the soil, and he wanted to be Dylan Anderson 2.0? Uh, do they know each other? Oh, I'm sure they've run into each other. Come on, come on. Run into uh, yes, I, I think that really in life, when you're looking for a template, Dylan Anderson is your. Uh, Yes. Basically, it goes Jacob Franklin and Dylan Anderson in whichever order you want. That's, you know, it depends. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Oh, Brad Rich, the great Brad Rich. All right. We have some updates on the Smelly Rainy Seattle shirts. They are still arriving. Almost everybody has received theirs. Um, Emily, I can't, I don't know what her last name is, was uh, modeling them yesterday. And uh, so they, and she had just got hers yesterday. So hang tight again. Um, I believe that there's two or three that are still outstanding, but the uh, smelly rainy Seattle shirts are arriving. Um, there's uh, it's kind of lagged a little bit, but most of us got it on Monday. We will continue to talk about this though. Nicholas Ibarra, the great Nicholas Ibarra got his as well. Loyal to the soil. What, what do you say you Jason? Sure. Oh, I was going to say back on, uh, on Perry. Also, they have a 2027 kid, Mike Bruce branch. He's going to go wherever he wants to. Bruce so they're, they're, yeah, 2027. I think Texas just offered. I right, we're going to see him at section seven. He's supposed to be awesome. Hey, let's get Jacob Franklin in here for a second. Jacob Franklin. Hey, Jacob Franklin. We're going to add Jacob Franklin here real quick. We need to ask you about Gilbert, man. We wanted to ask you about Gilbert, Arizona. All right. never mind. Um, wow. Let's see here. Uh, Bruce branch is loyal to the soil. That's a good term. I like that term. Also, I thought, also, I thought Dylan Anderson told Tommy he never wanted to leave Arizona. Why redshirt and then transfer? E, I will. You know what? We will let Dylan Anderson. The myth of Dylan Anderson will continue to uh, continue to uh, go. We will just we'll leave it at that. Now, let's talk a little bit about Tunde Yesifu, my friends. I say yes to the Yesifu talk with uh, Tunde. And again, I know what you know, but I also know this is your, this is mostly your juice. So we are going to let Sheer expose his juice when he wants. Oh. Hmm. What? No, two days visiting. That's public. All right. So we can go with, all right, we can go with that. Then two days visiting. And I would not be surprised. Again, this is very, very fluid. I believe the two day is going to commit in the next month. Boom. Said it. Hmm. Yeah. He's, he's blowing up. 
You know, he's definitely he's killing it right now at NBA Top 100. He's going to be at Section 7. He'll kill it then. I actually think in this case, it's nice to have the uh, the first visit. Arizona's been on him longer than these other schools. Um, I think Arizona tries to get it done. Uh, we'll see, you know, I, I, if he commits this weekend. But uh, it's a smart move for Arizona to get him on campus now. I'm not a big fan of June official visits for obvious reasons in Tucson, uh, but it makes sense to get him on campus. He's also, yes, he does have a lot of girth to quote Will Perry. Um, but uh, he would, uh, that 2025 class has some real potential to it, Jason Shear. Because think about it. If you were to get a Tune Day, a, a Xavion Stanton, who we're going to talk about here in just a second, you could also get, throw in a, a Braden Burries. I mean, Arizona could, Arizona on paper could definitely have Tommy Lloyd's best recruiting class and i expect it to how about that yeah they're leading for quite a few players they're in it for hudson greer they're in it for tune day they're in it for koa burries there's others uh yeah i mean that class has very very high potential right now all right now a man who is uh very much on the uh, wildcat authority boards who's very much uh uh, the cause of consternation with a, with one odd poster xavion staten Here's the deal. I'm going to tell people this all the time. This is not difficult. If you're the number one center in your class, you always take him. There is no say that I don't necessarily want this kid. You take this kid. You don't wait about, you know, for some, you know, fifth year guy or whatever. If this kid wants to come and back the A, you let him back the A all day. Yeah, you actually made a rare good point yes. uh, on this. Uh, Christian Coloco is the prototype, right? Like if right. you could, in, in Tommy Lloyd's offense and defense, if you could add a guy that's similar to Coloco, you do it every day. And that's that's this kid right here. Yeah, he's not going to go out and score 20 points a game, but he's going to block shots, control the paint, rebound and defend. Sounds good to me. Yeah, no, I'll take it. And again, I don't understand the, uh, well, again, there is, a, it's an interesting poster that was making this case. So, uh, but yes, we'll take this kid every single day of the week. And again, I want one of these kids every single class. I look at this guy and uh, I think he would be nice to dovetail with uh, Emmanuel Steven, because here's the thing. If odds are, especially when you get an athletic big that can block shots, odds are both of them aren't going to be stiffs here. I guess the only concern, and I think what that poster Earth? was trying to say, which isn't a horrible thing, is you have Krebus and a walk on the roster. Mm -hmm. So it becomes difficult to convince this kid, hey, come join a roster with those two guys, right? Right. That's your, that's your biggest obstacle. But right now, Arizona's doing a nice job. It's going to be the first school to have an official visit scheduled. And I would say it's probably between Arizona and UNLV right now. And we will not, who is, is, uh, is Lon Kruger still, or, uh, not Lon Kruger. Um, is, is Kruger, are Kruger still coaching, uh, you or, uh, UNLV his son? No, it's, uh, um, I thought it was his son. Yeah, at UNLV. It is. Kevin Kruger. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. Come on, man. I knew that. Will Emmanuel Steven ever start at the U of A? I'm going to say this. If he stays patient, will Perry, yeah, he will he, definitely he have stays. his days. He's, he's just raw. That's all we're saying. He's just raw. He's just, he's got to stay. That's really what it comes down to. It. Yeah. If he stays, he will be more than fine. I can I can definitely assure you of that. This kid has a lot of potential. All right. Now, the talk that everybody came here for, and let's be honest here. Oh, by the way, you want to know what a nice person I am? Guess what I did earlier today? What did you do, Mike? I donated blood. Did you really? I did. I feel I mean, that's very nice, but it's like pure Del Taco, isn't it? No, I donated blood. They loved me. I I went there and I said they. Uh, I said here, take my vein, take my arm, and they took everything they could look to true to show you. Do you Oops. get faint, or are you just that manly? You're just like no. Nah, I don't like needles, though. I always look away. So I, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no. Either way, I'm a very tough man. There, I don't think there's any doubt about that. You're All right, man. I am. No, I'm very, very manly. Now, let's talk about Orlando Antigua, the elephant in the room, and Will <laughs> Riley. This is something, man. The, the myth of Orlando Antigua at the uh, University of Illinois is something that um, I didn't know was such a thing this year. Um, Illinois fans took what we were saying and just completely ran with something that we weren't saying. And like, now it's a fun bit. Yeah. Orlando Antigua is a fine assistant. No one said he's not. Right. But the idea that Will Riley is only choosing Illinois because of Orlando Antigua is just not – how 99% of recruitments work. Yes. 
That is, that's just not how it works. Now, you made a rare good point as well, Skier, when you said, if, <laughs> yes, look at us complimenting each other. Sounds around us. Are we the only fan base that has any fun? We try to have fun here. We try to have fun here. But with um, uh, Orlando, or Orlando Antigua, the thing with uh, Will Riley and Orlando Antigua is this. Illinois has a crappy, crappy backcourt. Oh, by the way, there was a guy on Twitter that was messaging me, and he says, I don't know if you've ever watched Kylan Boswell, but you really let a monster get out of there. Oh, I have watched a lot of Kylan Boswell. I watched yeah, there's a post on the message board that is like, I can't wait for Kylan Boswell to prove Sheer wrong. It's like, look, I would love for him to prove me wrong. I really would. Right. But right now, and I, and I made the point, and not one person has come and disagreed with me. When you take a look at the schools recruiting Will Riley, Arizona, Kentucky, let's throw in Alabama, mm -hmm. right? And Illinois. The worst backcourt of those four by far is Illinois. Right, exactly. And I was just laughing at the guy saying, you clearly haven't seen Kylan Boswell. I have seen That's him. awesome. Believe you it. Didn't cover it. To be fair, there were times where you covered your eyes. Oh, I mean, there were a lot of times. And in all fairness, Sheer, I am very rarely right on anything. Yes, Will Riley is more likely to reclassify than not Will Perry. Um, and uh, I believe if Ryan Neal was asking hey, that. It's Illinois is probably the leader right now. We'll know a lot more in the next 48 hours. That's a teaser. Right. A teaser. We, we need to get through. Hey, can I say we need to get through Thursday? Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, same thing. We'll know, a, we'll know a lot more in the next 48 hours where Arizona stands. We need to get through Thursday, but either way, um, we will tease. We're going to tease the next one for Friday, deal. We're not going to put that one out there, but we can talk about it Friday. Yeah, Friday, we're going to drop some news. Friday, we're dropping some news. Make sure that you, uh, listen, if you are uh, if you don't have this uh, uh, trademarked already, or trademarked, you need trademark. to be here 1030 on Friday. We will break news. And again, I am giving the floor to Sheer because this is all of his information and this is none of my information. I was not able to get any of this. So I give that. Uh, Colin Boswell is like John Cena. He can play on an entire game without <laughs> being seen. That is really good. Easy Wildcat. What is, let's say Colin Boswell has a good season at Illinois. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Let's just, let's say he, what, what is his, his ceiling? Like his numbers. 13 and four. Yeah. I, but I here's that's the thing. Fair. And I'm going to keep going back to this. And I don't understand why people can't get this. I hope we are going to get to football, Brian Blackmore, and we're going to make fun of somebody that deserves to be made fun of. But with when it comes to basketball, though, here's what I don't – or when it comes to Kylan Boswell, dude, they gave him every opportunity here. I don't know what else you're supposed to. He gave every opportunity and he whizzed it away. I don't know what else Arizona was supposed to do in this situation. Yeah, like it's – like, stop telling me, like, Illinois fans are like, you don't know what you let get away. Oh, I do. Every single Arizona fan knows exactly what they let get away. And if you polled Arizona fans and you said, would you rather have Jaden Bradley or Kylan Boswell um, as your starting point guard, I, I, I don't think you could find one person that would say Boswell. And then I saw someone else, Mike, since I'm, I'm going to interrupt you, that said, oh, she said Tommy wanted Boswell to stay. That is not what I said. Not at all. I said, said Tommy... I said Tommy valued Boswell because Tommy loves everyone. 